Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and today, after years of changing it, I'm going to show you the easiest way I've found to change the resin in your DI bottle. So there's a few things that you need before you get started. You'll need a knife to open the bag with, some gloves so that resin doesn't affect your hand, a stopper from a wine bottle, a scoop, a funnel, and a little bit of dowel, cane, or a, I've got a bit of hose pipe here to use as a poking stick. So to start with, the mesh bag that the resin came in, I've actually screwed that onto the front of my workbench to catch any resin that I empty out of it. And because it's made out of like a loose mesh, all the water should drain out of that. You can just squirt a hose pipe up into the DI bottle. It washes the rest of the resin out really nicely. Now I'll just wash off the feeder pipe, get all the old resin off that. So I've always wondered about the best way of getting rid of your spent resin. So I contacted the supplier and they've told me that it's okay to, with spent resin to wrap it up in a plastic bag and put it in your bin. So once you've got your DI bottle empty, what you've got to do is take this pipe from off the bottom and just put that straight back into your DI bottle. You then put your funnel onto your DI bottle and with the wine bottle stopper put that into the top of the pod that you've put back into the DI bottle. Now it's time to put your gloves on. It's best rid to get rid of any pets that are in the area. So now using your scoop fill up your funnel. You drop it into the funnel. Just be careful you don't knock your stopper out. And you can just shake it around and the resin drops in. I find it best not to put too much resin into the funnel at one time. Because if you put too much in, it seems to get clogged up and it makes it more difficult to get it down into the hole. If you're interested in the scoop, I bought this as a gutter cleaner. To when you're up on a ladder clean out gutters, it's called the Gutter Getter. Uh, I got it from Home Base for a five pound, and I'll put a link below to that. Once it's full enough, so you can't get any more to go down. Just use your stick and give it a bit of a wiggle round. That'll help push it down into the bottom. You can also give your DI bottle a bit of a shake, that'll get more in. Carry on doing this until you've got as much in as you possibly can. Once you've got as much in as you possibly can, and even with shaking and your stick you can't get it to go down anymore, it's worth getting a bit of pure water. You can use tap water but that just depletes the resin quicker. And pour a bit of that into your DI bottle. And just let it wash down. That'll sink down into the bottle and make it easier to get a bit more in. As once you've got as much in as you can in the, in the bottle, just give it another quick wash off. Remove your stopper. Give that a wash off. Take your funnel off. I always like to give the thread around the top of the bottle bit of a rinse so that makes a better seal and then reassemble your top just push it in make sure it's center make sure you've got it square and screw it on nice and tight all you need to do now is get rid of your resin and reconnect your bottle back up onto your system. When you do start running it again, just check around, make sure you might need to change little O-rings sometimes, you might need to change the O-ring around the top, but just when you start up using it again, just uh, make sure it's not leaking. 
So I hope you found this video useful. I know some of you guys will have changed the resin hundreds of times probably uh, and be used to it. But for those that aren't used to it, they might find a few little handy tips and help uh, that uh, just make it a bit easier for you. If you have got any tips, please leave them in the comments below the video. Uh, that would be always handy to see. I always like to know how other people are doing things. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, if you'd subscribe to the channel please and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and YouTube will notify you every time I release a video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.